Hi, my name is Lavish Kumar. In this video, we will learn how to configure manual credit card payment method in AppCommerce. For this tutorial, we are using version 4.0. So these days, online businesses offer different kinds of payment methods to their customers during checkout process. And I'm sure you are aware of some of these common payment methods such as PayPal, credit card, money orders, etc. So in this tutorial, we are going to talk about credit card. There are different ways you can offer a credit card as a payment method to your customers. Number one is use a third party service like PayPal or authorized.net to capture payment, which obviously comes with some kind of fee or charges on top of it. And second option is to accept or process credit card payments manually. And this is what we are going to discuss today. In AppCommerce, this payment method is known as credit card manual payment method. So let's look into that. If you go into the dashboard section and from the dashboard section, go to configuration. And here we'll go into payments and payment methods. And here you can see there are different kinds of payment methods that comes out of the box with Nap Commerce. And you can always get download more plugins to support more than one uh, or several payment methods by going to the marketplace. So let's look into the manual credit card processing in this case. So this is the credit card manual processing payment method that we'll be looking into. So what we can do is we can make sure this is active. If it's not active, you can simply look, uh, click the edit button and check off this option. And in this case, we have activated this payment method. <clears throat> and we'll go into the configuration. And here we can see different options to configure this payment method. So just remember that this is a special kind of payment method that allows your customers to place an order on your site and enter the credit card information. But at the same time, it does not charge the customer or make any call to any live gateway or anything like that. So if you're using this payment method on your NopCommerce site, you have to make sure that you're ready to process all the orders offline. Or if you're using any back office system to process credit card information so you can use that and it's always important to use um, SSL certificate um, on your knob commerce site so that your customers are are um, are happy to place an order and they are they feel more secure about their uh, providing their credit card information on your website so let's look into these options to configure this payment method uh, first option is uh, after checkout mark payment as so in this case, we have option like pending if you want to mark the order as pending after the order has been placed or authorize and authorize or capture. Since we have determined that this payment method does not charge automatically and you will have to process all the orders offline, it's always good to practice to keep this uh, option as pending so that all the orders uh, that are coming by this payment method are are basically marked as pending payment and here you have option to charge any additional fee if you like to charge on top of the so let's say if you if it's going to cost you an additional cost to process the credit card manually so you can probably you know there's a you can put a dollar amount on top of that if you want to like a to like a ten dollar fee on every transaction something like that we can do that so we'll keep it zero for now or if you like to use percentage you can simply do that you know what uh, let's do two percent additional fee on top of the order to total in this case so this is how you can configure the pin method so in this case I'm simply going to uh, keep the setting as pending zero we're not charging anything and save okay great so since we have saved this payment method and enable it on our knob commerce site. Let's look into the public store to see how the checkout process work with this payment method. So if you go into the online store and from here we can select any product. In this case let's select this smartphone. And when you are on the product page 
you can simply just add a product on your shopping cart and let's go to the shopping cart okay so on the shopping cart page I'm simply just going to do checkout the billing address shipping address okay and now it's payment method so you can see now it's giving me two options because I have if I go back to my payment methods I have two payment methods enabled which is money order or check and credit card so in this case I'm going to select credit card and go continue and here it's going to ask the credit card information so if you just go on Google just for testing purposes I can use I'm just looking for some test credit card numbers that I can use for testing to show you how it works so in this case let's select Visa I'm just going to copy this number and I can do here John John Lee credit card expiration date I will select any date for the instant let's say zero for test number we have to use four and I can confirm it and order has been placed now when I go to my orders in my account you can see the order status is pending and when I go into dashboard sales and order I received an order and payment status is pending the reason it's pending is because this is how we have configured this payment method so that now I can simply go into the order details from the back end and get all the payment information and I can process it I can simply mark as paid here when I've uh, processed the payment successfully so there you go this is how we configure the manual credit card payment method on OpCommerce. Now it's time for us to wrap up this tutorial video. Hope this was helpful. This video is brought to you by OpCommerce, open source shopping cart. Thank you.